Hello, and good afternoon. I'm excited to be here today because this is so important to me. Now, because this is a luncheon, and some of you may still be eating, I'm not going to tell you what my GPA was a few years ago. <laughs> it was disgusting. If I said it out loud, you would probably throw up on each other. I am now a senior at Newport High School, but I would like to start my story off by telling you about myself when I was at Tai Middle School. In middle school, what I liked to do most, instead of school assignments and homework, was to have fun and relax. I was afraid of hard work, and I really just didn't see the value in it. And it wasn't that hard work wasn't valued in my home. It was, just as getting good grades was. There's my mom, and my dad is over here. But I'm not saying these things just because they're here. The honest truth is that my folks set high standards for me, and they deserve better from me. Mom and dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope I'm making up for it now. But back to middle school. My teachers knew that I wasn't a student who they were going to hand an assignment to, who was just going to go home and do it. I didn't think about my future. I really didn't care enough. And I didn't look like a kid who was ever going to succeed. But even though my teachers saw this, they didn't give up. They said, I think there's something more to this kid. And so in middle school, they nominated me for AVID. AVID is a program that the Bellevue Schools Foundation helps to fund. It is designed for students like me, the ones who could use a little extra academic coaching to help become more engaged and successful in school. In fact, Donors like you actually brought AVID to Bellevue Schools 10 years ago. AVID focuses on students in the academic middle. At its heart, AVID is a philosophy. Hold students like me accountable to the highest standards, but show us how to succeed and we will step up. It prepares us for, the, for success in the great big world by providing us with academic, leadership, career, and life skills Things like reading and writing to learn, collaborating with others, note-taking, and organizational skills. So what does this really look like for kids like me and my classmates? Real-time learning opportunities, time management and goal-setting strategies, and best of all, AVID is a belief system. Someone believes in us, and we in turn begin to believe in ourselves. Right now, I'm thinking about a classmate of mine. When I first met him, he was the quietest person I had ever met in my entire life. He didn't make eye contact with people. He didn't talk. He didn't even raise his hand. After only two years of AVID, he was raising his hand and participating in class, and then he was even finding me in the hallways to say hi. That was just absolutely amazing to me, to see somebody change that much, to build that much confidence and self-esteem. And of course, he wasn't the only one who was transformed by AVID. My first AVID teacher, Mr. Evans, he would pull me aside to talk and tell me that there's more to my future than I thought there was. He explained that there's a bigger meaning behind hard work, a bigger meaning behind dedicating and applying myself to my schoolwork. And at the time, it wasn't something like all of a sudden I thought, all right, now I get it. I need to apply myself. <laughs> but I did start to think about it a little more. And I considered focusing and working a little harder by dedicating and applying myself to my schoolwork and investing myself in my learning. But it wasn't only Mr. Evans. I've had so many fantastic teachers. Even though they maybe had 26 or 30 kids in their class, I thought as if they were talking to me and really invested in me, and I felt that I could always go to them. So now, fast forward to high school. I truly enjoy learning, including learning on my own time. A seed was planted that first day that Mr. Evans talked to me, and it has been steadily growing ever since. I ask myself, what am I doing today that is going to help me to achieve the career that I want? 
And that ultimately led me to start setting short-term goals and figuring out how I can measure my progress. Where do I want to be in a month? Where do I want to be in three months? Where do I want to be in a year? And now I'm willing to put myself outside of my comfort zone, and I'm willing to try new things. And that has allowed me to do things that I never dreamed I would do. Like, get this. I am now active in Newport student government. Nobody at my middle school would have ever seen me becoming a leader at school. If I hadn't had AVID, I have no idea where I would be, but it would be very different. One of the new things that I'm doing is developing seminars so that students can mentor each other. And these seminars will be set out in a way that people can say, all right, these are the specific things that I want to get done. And then we will work together in a group format, mentoring and ultimately holding each other accountable, having peers who can say, hey, John, did you follow up on those goals that you set for yourself last week? And John says, well, I did, and I also fell short here. And it's like, it's cool, John. Now that you recognize that, this week we can improve. So I would like to tell you why it is so important to me that I am up here today. What I really want to do and what I felt I've always wanted to do is to make an impact. That is the biggest driving force in my life now, school-wise and in the future, career-wise. But I only started learning how to do that because of AVID. I hope that in the future, I will be able to encourage other young people to start developing themselves at a young age. I want to give them the tools that AVID gave me, and I want to give them hope. I am so grateful to those teachers who never gave up on me, even though giving up would have been the easy thing to do. And I know all of you are here today because you care about kids, even those kids who can be a challenge, like myself. And I totally know that people make choices. And by your support of the Bellevue Schools Foundation, you are also making a choice. Remember how I said that I want to make an impact? I've been giving a lot of thought to the meaning of making an impact since I was asked to speak for the Spring for Schools luncheon today. I really jumped at the idea because it sounded really exciting, although also, of course, pretty scary. But it really made me think about who I was when I was that kid in middle school six years ago. Because at the same time that I was there, many of you here today were at the Spring for Schools luncheon six years ago. You believed in me. I am up here today sharing my success, sharing my classmates' success because of your caring support on that day and countless days after that. So even though I'm here to tell my story and somebody else is in charge of asking for money, I asked if it was okay if I gave my thoughts about it because it is so important to me. And even though I'm just a high school student, this is what I know and would like to say. Lives are being changed as you write your checks. As another zero is added to what you had initially planned to give, another life. As another zero is added to what you <laughs> another life is being altered, maybe even saved. Today is a big honor for me because you have given me the opportunity to see what people who make an impact really look like, what they care about, and the power that you have to change lives. Because your caring support for the Bellevue Schools Foundation changed my life forever. Thank you.